Okay, guys, it's been 14 days of quarantine and no walking. We're about to take Herky and Milton for like an hour and a half, two hour walk. I'm so excited about this. Yeah, everybody got their boots on. It's not not so good outside and not so bad, but we're going. Which is good because there's going to be nobody in the streets. Yeah, let's do it. Their first long walk in two weeks, man. <laughs> How does it feel to be outside? The air feels so fresh. Like I was telling my in LA, they get about like minimum an hour walk per day. And it's been two weeks since I actually left the house to do any movement myself. So my body is getting a bit like tired. So this feels really good right now. Yep, it feels great. It's even raining a bit right now, but it's fine because we need the we need the walk. You know I'm desperate when I'm happy to walk in the rain. Yep. Come on girls. How's it feel to walk with mommy and daddy, girls? Milton is slow as usual. So guys, are you going to be sad now that Mai's not going to do one vlog per day anymore? I mean, let us know if you'd like us to keep going, but um, doing one vlog per day for 14 days was kind of taxing and it was a very time consuming. But if you guys liked it, I might keep doing vlogs, but maybe not every day. Yeah, not every day. I, like, literally she was editing Every day, every day, all day. It was a lot. And every day needed to film and edit, so it was a lot. I think we could keep up one per week, right, baby? Yeah, maybe one per week. And then it's going to be maybe a longer vlog. So my normal upload schedule is one day, Wednesday and Sunday. So maybe on Wednesday could be a vlog and then on Sunday could be another video or vice versa. Let us know what you think. You look like your grandma right now. Did you know that? Yeah, you, you, you told me. Hey, cool! It's becoming snow. Snow is better than rain. You guys can't see it, but it's snowing a bit. Oh yeah, you can. Turkey seems happy right now. So guys, in your comments below, do you prefer the environment in LA or the environment in Montreal? Like, it feels like straight up winter. I'm dressed like winter right now. You have your boots on, your snow pants on. Yep. And I look like a grandma. Cool, man. <laughs> Erky, are you having fun? Careful. Black. Erky got her boots on. Are these available on the shop, baby? Yes, they are. Cool. They are... Oh, yes, we have a pooper. Number one. So this is a local pet store that we like to go to to buy our Big Country Raw. And clearly it's closed, but he says open on appointments only. Call this number and I'll be there in five minutes. I think we could offer him money to, for him to deliver to our house. Yeah, could be a good idea. Yep. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Girls want to go see Jay. Jay's not here, girls. This is my food. <laughs> is there a friend? Look, Milton, there's a friend. You guys see him? It's like a little sausage dog. Milton, look! Milton doesn't care. The snow rain stopped and feels great. Now my face is not wet when I walk. Little pause for sniffing and chewage. You girls are so weird. All you want to do is eat shit off the floor. Mmm, branching. How's the walk feel? Great. Yeah? All the fresh air feels great, huh? But you know what's gross? You know when you sweat and it's cold outside? Yeah. Your entire back and t-shirt is wet. 
I think we're gonna take a bath with the girls after. Yay! And it's like it gets a bit itchy. It's like all wet, man, and damp. Ew. Ugh, I hate it. Because we have to dress warm because it's cold, but then you walk and then you sweat because you have a lot of layers on. So I wonder if the best option usually is to dress lighter so you sweat less. No, sweating is good, and then you just go put this in the wash and take a shower. Okay. Water? Sure. All right, we found a secluded area, and I think we're going to let them off leash a bit here. What do you think? All right, here. Let's see what Dolphin Herky does. I bet you're going to run into the water puddle. Okay, go. Release them. Release the Kraken. Go. Go, 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 go. Go, Herky. No, then leave Herky alone. Let her play. Make sure they stay on the bridge. This is cute. We can have a forest gump moment and stuff. Yep. Oh, yeah. Off leash Herky is the happiest Herky. Okay, is it safe there? Yeah. You know that after. Milton She's there. She's on the field. On the. Hi, Milton. Hi. Herky's so, so happy that she's she came back. She's like, I've had enough. <laughs> oh, Milton, where's she running to? Milton, come here. Come here, Milton. Milton. Milton, come. Milton, come. <laughs> where's Milton? <laughs> Herky's looking for Milton. Millie! Oh, there she is. Thank you for my tiredness. Turkey! Turkey! Okay, turkey. Okay, okay. Good job. Good job, Millie. It's 326, so that was a good two-hour outing for the girls. It was great for us, too. I feel like we really needed that fresh air. And now the girls are going straight to the bath. Hello. You girls are ready for your other bath. Man bun done. Girl, Milton. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Be good girls. Good girl, Milton. Come on. Over here, Herky. I know, you're a very good girl. Come on, I'll give you a treat. Come on. Oh, good girls. All right, so when we got home, we had a shipment from Maison Lavande, which is a local company. I love that they do stuff for the house, like room sprays, lotion, everything based out of lavender. I don't know if you saw our video when we went to the lavender fields. That was the business. And the, I got this pet shampoo and it smells so good. I think I'm going to use it on the girls today. It smells like lavender and vanilla, which matches really well with the blueberry vanilla face shampoo that they have. So let's do it. Let's do it. They look really clean because they were wearing boots, but their underbelly is kind of wet and a bit gross. So we're going to clean their underbelly for them to be all clean for the bed tonight. Hmm? Good girls.
Okay, something I did not miss about Montreal is these burrs. I found some burrs in Milton's ears. Oh no, look at this. Get the burrs out first. Yep. So this I remove with my hands and also with, um, I don't remember the name of the brush, the raking brush. And we have to remove this before a bath. So this is the brush I'm talking about. This is a slicker brush. And this is the only thing that gets the burrs out super easily. Relaxation spa time starts. Oh, sorry, oh, baby. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. There's a lot, bro. Give it to me in my hand so I can show. These things are so annoying. The only way is with this brush. Are you getting a full shower today or just... Let's do under belly and face. Okay. See all that? Did she clean them this week? Yes. Full body? Under belly.
Hello, my little kittens. Hello. Hello, guys. Welcome to Andy Eats. <laughs> Today we're making green juice. Look what Y prepared for us. Wow. Beautiful array of fruits and veggies. So, yesterday for my birthday, I had a bunch of popcorn chicken. And with all this COVID scare, we have to boost our immune system. Mm -hmm. All right? So it's very important that if you eat badly, that you at least substitute. You balance get it some out. Vitamin, yeah, you balance it out or get some vitamins in, at least with some, like, juice if you're not going to chew all this. Yeah, because this is a lot of chewage. So this is super fun. This is a slow masticating juicer. Yeah. It's called the Omega, and it masticates really slow, and it takes all the juice out. So you don't have to, like, eat all this, but you get all the nutrients. The water-soluble nutrients. All right, why don't you show us how it's done? Cucumba. 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 Cucumba comes in first. Cucumba is fun because it creates a lot of juice. But it also creates a lot of this reflux here, which so, you counter it with... Something hard, like a hard leaf, like kale or celery. So you want to alternate, okay? You want to alternate your soft, juicy stuff with your harder stuff. For example, could you put avocado in this? No, you cannot. It's too okay. mushy and there's not enough juice. Okay. You can put apple. You can put... So a lot of people don't like the taste of vegetables, so they put ginger to like make it more spicy. I love ginger in this juice. I like lemon also, but Andy doesn't like lemon. I like fruits. Fruits mm. make it sweet. Because all this kale makes it super bitter as a juice. But still, it's a green juice, so you guys want to go for more greens. It's healthier for you in, in terms of like vitamins and just uh, fruits because fruits is full of sugar. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the sugar stays more in the pulp or in the juice. I have no idea. The best thing to do is to put a lot of kale. Yeah. The best. Oh, the best. So you guys come in here. You see how slow it masticates. And you can hear it chew. Chew, chew. <laughs> It smells like ginger. So how often do we do this per week? We do this, we try to do it twice a week. Sometimes when we're lazy, it's once a week, but a whole jar will probably last us for like three days, three, three days. four days. Yeah. So, you know, it's good. Like personally, I can never physically fit all these greens into my body. Because, first of all, I don't like to chew, and I don't like a full stomach. Herky is a supervisor. They're so clean right now. So clean, I love when they look like this. Look at <laughs> Milton's big butt. Big, big booty, won't you want a big booty? Okay guys, so Mai had to take her phone back because she's editing. So you're left with my Samsung. So now you see all the vegetables have been juiced and look at all the pulp Ooh. if you like to compost this is perfect but we don't have a yard you're gonna take your juice and then you're gonna transfer it into a jar like this one be careful not to spill some okay i have to put my phone down because i don't want to spill it because this is so expensive look at all that good stuff pause resume you're gonna just pour it in there and you want to drink this in the next three days because or else it's going to start losing some of its potency and vitamins. I'm going to make two glasses for us right now. You guys are going to see my face when she drinks this. She doesn't like it. And yo, especially when it's room temperature and it's not refrigerated, it's so hard to drink, man. Room temperature is the worst. I personally like it because it tastes really healthy. It's not supposed to taste delicious, but then you can condition your brain to think that is tasting delicious since it's so healthy for you. Come here, honey. Bottoms up. Oh. <laughs> it tastes like a skunk a bit today for uh. some reason. I think there's a lot of ginger. It's hard to drink today. Mm -hmm. When it's refrigerated, it's really not as bad. It's not very sweet. 
This ginger is so potent. It is. It, it's like really gingery. Is it's it organic? Skunky because of the kale. Ooh. Okay. Oh. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. She gave up. She ran away. She's gonna finish this later. I'm a good boy. I finished mine. Whew. That's harsh. Hi guys. So it is now. It's now Easter Sunday. I haven't vlogged yesterday because. On Friday, I really felt super sick, so that's why I skipped an upload in the quarantine series. And so today we have, uh, I'm back to vlogging, I'm going to close the vlog of end of quarantine with our Easter Sunday meal. We have a sugar shack meal from Pied de Cochon, it's a very famous restaurant here in Montreal and they do have a sugar shack for sugar shack season. So we're going to have a lovely meal. And I'm going to show you what we got, but I am feeling a lot better. I'm not 100% yet, but um, I'm feeling better. So yeah, let me show you what we got. The girls jumped up here because they're smelling all the food and they want some. So I just disinfected this entire bag. Then once I take these out, I'm going to clean these as well. Ooh, this is um, beans. Beans with duck. Dulce de leche. This is steak de jambon. It's ham. It's a ham steak. Ooh. Flan caramel dulce de leche. Sandwich galettes. No idea what this is. We got some Quebec pea soup. Oh, yum. This looks so good. And this is some sort of cabbage something. The girls think it's for them. Hmm? It's not for you. Okay, I'm going to disinfect all this. So guys, I got a question for you. We started watching Ozark episode one, season one tonight. Who else watches this show and is it worth watching? In the comments below, please. Selected. And do the glamorous boat. That historically man. Now, I would think that those would be very valuable around here. Do they pay taxes? All right, here's our sugar shack menu. Oh. We've got some buckwheat pancakes. I'm guessing there's like cheese and stuff in it. Yeah. Pea soup, yeah. ham. This is some cabbage choucroute yeah. thing. Got some baked beans. Yum. Then later we got some desserts. Look at all this. Oh, ham. Mmm, it's so smoky. Mmm. It's really good. Yeah. So they say this is a two people menu, but I literally just heat it up like half. It looks so soft. It looks like the best part of the meal. He raises his own pig, right? Yes. Maybe. One piece? Hard pig. There is everywhere. Poor pigs. Mmm. <laughs> Very good though. Mm. Crunchy. So good. Mm. Can you have this piece? It's more fatty than this one. Mm. Oh my mm. god, I'm so good. How's Very the pancake? Uh, the ham is good. Pancake. Mmm. Mm.